Hey guys, it's Ashley. I am back with another video. This one is going to be kind of fun and hopefully informative. It is going to be a welcome to my channel Q&A with the 10 most asked questions that I get. And I'm going to answer them and hopefully it won't take a century. But yeah, I just thought this would be really fun. Get to know me. Um, yeah, if you're a new subscriber, thanks for subscribing. Um, so it's just a fun place for me to just share parts of my life. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So I wrote down in a notepad. 10 most asked questions that I get in person through DMs and comments on Instagram and on Facebook. And yeah, these are all questions that I've probably been asked at least five times a piece. At least. So I figured let's do this. First one is a more light and airy question. What is your favorite LaCroix flavor? I literally have been asked this a million times because I do post about LaCroix a lot. I am not sponsored. My favorite two flavors are the peach pear and then my other favorite flavor is lime. This is tangerine because Grocery Outlet where I go grocery shopping did not have those flavors and I settled for tangerine. Phoebe likes tangerine. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Alright, another question I'm... Alright, another question I'm asked fairly often is what is your job slash do you even work and what kind of hours do you work because you're always doing fun things. Yes, I have a job. I work 40 hours a week. I work in ministry for a turn of a church. Um, this is my second ministry job. I did work in ministry in Virginia where I lived and I really love it. There is a lot of flexibility though. I do have to work Saturdays and Sundays. I have Monday off. Um, but I do get to have really flexible hours. I do community creation. Um, I work with college students and young adults. I also do all of our social media, so that's Facebook, Instagram. Um, I work our app that I created, and that's a ton of work, but so fun. I also do a ton of follow-up, communication via email to all of the church. Sorry, Phoebe's being so distracting. Um, I volunteer with high school students. Uh, yeah, I get to do a lot of stuff. I help with our membership stuff, baptisms. So it's really fun. I like being able to do a ton of different things and just, yeah. I have something different to work on every single day and that's the lifestyle that I work best in and the work style I work best in. So I love my job. I get to work with my husband, and that is such a blessing. I know some people wouldn't be into that, but I love it. So, love you, Zach. <laughs> Don't be misled by my cute outfit, because I'm actually wearing slippers. <laughs> Comfort is important. Another question is, are you from Virginia or California? Slash, where the heck are you from? I get this question a lot. I am from California. I was born in California, in Long Beach, in 1990, you do the math, and I grew up in San Diego until I was 14 or 15. I moved to Virginia during my freshman year in high school, which was really tough, because um, I did not really like Virginia when I first moved there. I was such a California girl at heart, but it was great, great experience. I'm glad I got to live there. Um, I met Zach when I lived there, and I lived there for 12 years in Virginia, and then we recently moved back to California a year and a half ago. So I am back to my roots, and I'm loving it. Again, really grateful for the experience, though, of living in Virginia. I met so many amazing people, learned a lot about myself, and it was great. So that is where I'm from. How did you and Zach meet? This is what I get asked a lot, and it was so weird. It wasn't weird, actually, but... um. A lot of people think that Zach and I knew each other before, like, I moved to Virginia because we're both from California, but Zach and I met in Virginia. Um, I was volunteering at a church there um, in high school ministry, and my ex-boyfriend and I at the time had just broken up, and Zach came on as the high school pastor, and that is when I met him, and we, yeah, we just bonded over the idea of us both being from California, I guess. He had just moved to Virginia to take that job. And we were like, whoa, you're from California. And turns out we are both born in the same hospital in California in the same year. What a small world. I don't believe in fate. And I'm like, not, I'm just like not a soulmate person. But I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, that is how we met. And only took a couple of dates. And I was hooked. So... That's how we met. 
Alright, this is a really popular question. In all aspects of media and in person, are you a natural blonde? Okay, it depends on what you define as natural blonde. I was born a toehead, meaning like literally blonde, 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 eyebrows blonde, arm hair blonde, like everything just like bleach white. Um, as I got older, my hair, I think around the age 17 or 18 or 19-ish, my hair started growing in a little bit darker and I just chose to start highlighting it. So I have been getting highlights since I was like, God, I don't even know now, hmm, maybe 17. Um, I was in college at 17, by the way, fun fact. Um, but yes, yeah, so I feel like that's when I remember getting highlights was like going into college. But yeah, so my hair is definitely more of, you can kind of see it coming in like a dirty blonde now. Um, if I have a picture of when I was younger of like my toe headness, I'll put it somewhere on screen here. But I am a natural blonde. It does grow in a little bit darker now though, and I still highlight it. I get it done from Lauren at Citizen Salon in Oceanside, and I really love it. My hair is really healthy, I get it trimmed, I don't get layers, nothing like that, um, but yeah, it is my blonde, okay? Alright, what has worked for your skin and what hasn't? <laughs> if you guys have been following my journey, um, I've posted a lot about this kind of stuff on my blog, on my Instagram. Um, if you are just new to meeting me um, and getting to know me, I have struggled with acne my entire life. I used to have horrible cystic acne, I mean like everywhere, all over my back, but I mean literally everywhere. It was so bad, I would not even want to go to school. It was horrible. It is a lot better now. I'm still dealing with the aftermath. You, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I have scarring. Um, still dealing with it and trying to fix that. but. Um, a lot of things did not work for me. I tried Accutane, which was extremely aggressive and just really hard. I did not enjoy it. My skin was clear when I was on it, and then afterwards it gets back to the same thing. My acne is hormonal, so I have to deal with it in ways that are hormonal. Um, so a mixture of birth control and a diuretic was the biggest thing that helped me. Though I do recommend that you see a doctor and a dermatologist and all of that um, to figure out what works for you and to obviously if you're a teenager to talk to your parents about it because I'm not your parent and you need to figure that out. Topical stuff did not work for me like creams, ointments, none of that because this was all hormonal. It was none of it was like my, my pores are cloned, like no, straight like my body was just jacked up. So. Yeah, a lot of stuff didn't work, but that did. I've also recently cut out most of my dairy intake, and I've noticed that has helped with my skin probably the most. Um, my skin just reacts so crazy to dairy. Um, I had pizza on Sunday, and then I had a breakout right here on Monday, and my skin was perfectly clear up until then. So I'm very reactive to dairy. Um, that's a big change I've done. I've done microdermabrasion, I've done needling, um, I do lots of face masks, I enjoy, um, I'll try and link some down below that I really love, um, yeah, I do ice rolling, I use a lot of sunscreen, I use good foundation that won't ruin my skin, so there's a lot of things you can do, I'm going to do a blog post about it, so I'm not going to go on, we're going to end this part of the question, just read my blog post when I post it, okay? Okay. Alright, next question. Why don't you drink alcohol? Um, this is a question I get asked in person because usually it's when I'm at a gathering and I'm not drinking and yeah, I'll decline a drink and people ask why. So um, I do not drink alcohol at all. I actually drink pretty heavily from the age 16 to 20 and I actually found really that I had a major issue with alcohol. I did not know how to drink it in smaller amounts. Um, I also have acid reflux, which does not help if you like alcohol because then you just get sick every time you drink, even if you don't drink a lot. So um, not only do I have acid reflux, but I did have an addictive issue. Um, I have an addictive personality, so I will, yeah, I just took it to another level. Um, I also have alcoholism in my family. And it's something I've just noticed I need to be careful about. And so I stopped drinking completely and I've been sober for seven years. And I love it. I think more people should not drink because it's just so good for your body to not drink. But a lot of our friends drink. 
and that's okay. When we're out, we're totally okay. Zach also does not drink at all. Um, we're okay being around friends who drink. It happens all the time. We're totally fine. Um, we don't judge anyone if you do. So Zach and I just choose not to, and it's a lifestyle that we really love. So that's that. All right, you guys are doing great. We're on to question number eight. Um, this is a question I get a lot um, as of recently in the past year and a half. Was it hard to learn how to surf as an adult? Do you think anyone can learn? Um, I picked up surfing right when we moved here to California because I had actually promised Zach in Virginia that if we ever lived somewhere where there were actually good waves and nice weather that I would learn to surf. And then we moved to California. I followed through on my promises, people. So, um, Zach taught me. It took me about five times until I was able to stand up. Until I was able to stand up. Um, I have a fairly athletic background, so I played a ton of soccer, CrossFit. Um, I think that really helped. I think a lot of different people can learn to surf. I think it's 10 times harder. If you have no athleticism whatsoever, you're going to have to work super hard, and you can't go out once a month, twice a month. Um, when I first started learning, I was going out three times a week at least, and I still do. So... Yes, it was hard. I cried the first five to ten times we went out. I would, like, get in the car and be like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, I was really dramatic. Um, but I love it now. It's such a great part of my life. I meet so many amazing people surfing, and I just, I don't know. When I'm in the ocean, I'm in such a spiritual place. Um, I don't know. It's amazing. I recommend you try it. Um, it takes a lot of hard work at first, though, but I do think you can do it. Um, it'll just take you twice as long if you don't have a little bit of athletic ability. So, you can do it though. You can do it. <laughs> Alrighty, moving on to question number nine. How do you afford to buy a house in Southern California, have nice clothes, shoes, etc., while working in ministry at a church? Um, <laughs> This is kind of funny. It's not funny. It's very difficult. Are you kidding me? Um, Zach and I moved here with a ton of debt. Um, part of it from his house that he owned in Virginia that we got stuck under a little bit. So when we moved here as newlyweds, we lived with his parents for 10 months, rent free. And we were able to save up a ton of money while we were doing that and also pay off some of our debt. Um, we didn't have a lot of extra things. We didn't get to go do fancy things because that 10 months we were like save, 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 pay off, save, pay off, save. It took so much dedication and it's something that I don't think a lot of people would do giving up like their complete privacy for 10 months, um, the first 10 months of marriage. So that is how Zach and I did it. Um, that's how we were able to buy a house here in Orange County. And I'm so grateful for his parents for letting us do that and for my mom for helping us out a lot. So that was amazing. As far as like clothes, shoes, blah, 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 I have a lot of stuff that is thrifted. Anything I buy is usually on sale. Um, I'm also a brand ambassador for a female surf company out here and I do get free stuff, but I promote it knowing that I love it and I wear it when I surf. So that is really helpful too because that stuff can be pricey. Um, I'm also an influencer for an athletic wear brand that I really love. Uh, I love their stuff. It's so good. Um, so I get free stuff from that. Um, sometimes I'll collaborate with shops and they'll give me stuff. So I do get a lot of stuff um, just given to me, but that's because um, I think shops and brands know that I love sharing things that I'm really passionate about or that really work for me. And I am so glad to share people's names and get them out there. I'll put a couple of them down below in the box so you guys know what I am representing and that I really do love this stuff. But um, that is how I do get a lot of stuff. But again, most of my stuff is thrifted or just like dirt cheap. So that is kind of how I afford that. All right, y'all, saving the best for last. Just kidding. This is not the best. Well, it's what we get asked the most. Um, so here it is, the grand finale, question number 10. When are you and Zach going to have babies? <laughs> literally every weekend at church I get asked this. Um, I mean like literally all the time. 
but it doesn't bother me. I know some people get offended, like, when someone asks them, when are you going to have children? It personally doesn't bother me. I know there are women who have miscarriages, though, or can't have children, and I imagine that would be really hard to get asked that question. That's not my personal experience, um, so I don't really get offended. I'm okay telling people, um, yeah, this is my answer. So, um, when are we going to have babies? Well, Zach and I um, experienced living together right when we got married. We did not live together before we got married, and we are enjoying this time to just continue to get to know each other and go on adventures and surf whenever the heck we want and take naps and um, not have to vacuum the house every single day sometimes. And yeah, we love experiencing life. And right now we both feel that we need more time to grow together and we're still working on things communication wise um, and how to love each other better. And I don't really feel like I want to bring a child into this relationship right now and ear to Zach until we are like, yeah, let's do this. I know you're never ready. Um, but there are some things that we're working on. There's a couple um, more debt things that we're trying to get rid of. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we are, we've talked about um, towards the end of next year um, trying. So we are still ways away and we are not old, we're not young. He's 28, I'm 27 and we're okay with waiting another you know, year and a half, two years. So that's where we are right now. I love babies. You guys know this. Zach loves babies too. We cannot wait to start a family, honestly. They better be blonde. Just kidding. Um, but <laughs> we just know ourselves. And we know right now we are loving being married and we are loving what we get to experience as just him and I and Piggy. So <laughs> yeah, can't wait to have babies. Hopefully too. That's what we're thinking. Um, but yeah. That's that. I'm not offended if you ask. It's okay if you ask. Um, but that's going to be my answer for right now. And yeah, that's just part of our adventure. So, yeah. Alright, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have learned maybe just a couple of things um, about me. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I love sharing about things going on in our life. Um, our lives. Grammar's hard. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just think there's always something to learn about someone and when you see me posting things and maybe you're confused why there are always reasons behind that um, and I just hope this was a little like window into my world for you to see I'm really open about things I'm an open book for the most part if you ever have any questions about anything like anything honestly I am here for you I will answer most questions so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this have a wonderful week and Subscribe and like if you want to. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, love you guys. Bye.